time to go inside innovation. 19 universities from eight countries forming nine teams once again made history as they competed in the autonomous challenge at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, in the first high-speed head-to-head autonomous race car competition. With more on how these competitions are helping advance technology that can speed the commercialization of autonomous vehicles and how that could have a big impact right here in Indiana, pleased to welcome back to the show Energy Systems Network President and CEO Paul Mitchell. And Paul, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here, Gary. This was really a cool uh, event at CES, which is a mammoth, a massive uh, consumer electronics show uh, in Vegas. Uh, talk about the buzz that was created by this head-to-head -head competition on the track at uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Yeah, so the, the Indy Autonomous Challenge and this uh, Autonomous Challenge passing competition that we held at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway was was really the top, one of the top, maybe the top trending topic at, at CES this year. So it, it got a lot of attention, not only from automotive industry exhibitors, but advanced computer technology, sensors, just the whole IT industry was looking at this as a, a really unique platform. And of course, it was, it was great to be there with our partners from the Indian Economic Development Corporation who were co-exhibitors at the conference with uh, India Autonomous Challenge. You look at the uh, this program that you and others have been working on for, for some time now and how it has leapfrogged ahead and advanced. It began uh, from a visibility standpoint at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which was, uh, there was not passing involved. This takes it right. to a, a totally uh, a different level with the passing out on the track. And uh, I know that was part of what really created that that buzz out at, out at CES. What does this mean, Paul, in your view? This advances autonomous technology, but because uh, it has the Indy brand, the Indy name on it. So much of it is happening here in Indiana. What could that mean for the future here in Indiana? Yeah, so, you know, first in October, we kind of woke the world up to this concept of autonomous vehicles on a racetrack. And then we took it to the next level in Las Vegas with head-to-head -head passing, which you need to do in order to really showcase what autonomous technology is capable of. You know, what does it mean for Indiana? You know, all of these teams, uh, the talent that makes these teams up, are spending time here. They have connections back into Indiana. Some of the teams, including the Technical University of Munich, which won the competition in, in October at IMS and came in second in Vegas, they've already spun out a company, Drive Blocks, and are thinking about locating that company's North American offices here in Indiana, right? So the goal is not just to hold these events, uh, which are fun and exciting and draw a lot of attention, but to actually generate economic growth, investment, companies. Uh, and that's why our partnership with the Economic Development Corporation is so is so critical, because as we draw that attention, they help translate that into jobs and investment for the state. Yeah, and you mentioned the Indiana Economic Development Corporation being out there. Uh, you know, it was one of the number one uh, trending uh, items at CES. I think CBS had something like 700 million uh, impressions. That says a lot and gets Indy, Indy and Indiana out in the, uh, the mainstream, if you will, in a big way. That, again, can translate potentially, as you mentioned, a startup spinning out of uh, uh, the one organization can mean more in the future. Yeah, I, that's absolutely right. And it's 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 also going to help us as we try to advance Indiana's legacy automotive industry. You know, all of our car companies, Toyota, GM, Subaru, Honda, they're all moving towards more advanced technology vehicles, com cars that, that can be self-driven or have more advanced technology on them. And so if we can be a place where the talent comes to test and validate that and do so in exciting ways with motorsports, you know, it's gonna help attract new companies and it's gonna help those companies that are here in Indiana, you know, understand that this is a place they wanna continue to invest. Yeah, yeah, final question for you, and you brought it up there and I think it's interesting. This obviously is new cutting edge technology. How important is Indiana's legacy in the automotive industry, which is so strong and runs so deep? It, it, it's critical. I mean, you know, the, the transition from uh, internal combustion engine vehicles to say more electric vehicles is obviously something we've worked on a lot at ESN and, and now to autonomous vehicles. You know, it's still going to require the same building blocks. It's still going to require the same talent base, the same facilities, the same investments. Uh, the goal is to kind of keep as much of that here in Indiana as we can and, and to grow that pie by bringing new companies in. So the legacy companies are, are right there with the new companies as a top priority. The story will continue to follow. Uh, Paul Mitchell is CEO at Energy Systems Network. Paul, thanks for joining us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.